closely. Recognize this city, unless you belong to the Westchester Model Club, Pelham Manor, New York, you probably don't. It looks real, but this is a model railroad, exactly 1 48th life size. Passing above, a diesel haul streamliner, copy of a great northern train. Club members build every piece of equipment. This road runs on a timetable. Trains always run on time. Westbound freight, complete with caboose. In the background, a commuter train. Overhead wires supply this train's power. The locomotive turntable, roundhouse in the background. Passing, a New Haven Railroad train with electric engine, another perfect scale copy. In the roundhouse, Eastern Line trains are completely serviced. Inspected, tightened, cooled, watered, sandboxes refilled. This engine has just been serviced. Another station on the line, Silver Creek, passenger train arriving. Over 50 members operate this model railroad, a hobby commanding nearly all their spare time. Here comes the New York Central fast freight, an exact scale copy of those running between New York and Buffalo. On the lower level, a local freight. Comparative speeds of these trains are to exact scale too. The passenger train's ready to pull out. Right on schedule to the second. What a way to run a railroad. Using a miniature yard switching engine, a complete freight train will now be assembled. Mr. Russell Lockwood operating. Just as in a real freight yard, the old switch engine does the assembling. Picking up loaded cars all over the freight yard, backing off past the switches to change track, then reversing. A slow process aimed at moving all the freight into one line on the makeup track. Past the switching point, the section will now reverse down into the makeup track. The switcher uncouples and goes for more freight cars. While the freight is assembled further, a word about who belongs to model clubs. Members include executives and clerks, salesmen and school teachers, garage mechanics and bank presidents. The switcher has already picked up another section. This too must back past the switching point and then reverse into the makeup track. Making up freight is a back and forth operation. Now watch some tricky switching. Let her roll. There, that does it. Uh oh, not quite. Seems to be something missing. What could it be? Mr. Lockwood seems to know. Our switcher certainly is after something. It must be down there by those ice houses. The yard engine sure is coming a long distance this time. Now we'll find out what he's after. Of course, the caboose. No freight's complete without a caboose. A locomotive, completely serviced, waits patiently while the caboose is coupled to the freight. And now, the final step. The road engine leaves the roundhouse and starts moving up to head the freight train. The yard engine's work is done. Here comes our road engine.
Now to back the engine to the load. This freight is ready to roll. There she goes, the freight you saw assembled in the yard. So long, Caboose. Fine exhibition, Mr. Lockwood. You're a model, model railroader. Here's something really unusual, a model circus train made by a former circus man. The circus train is authentic in every detail. Look at the animal cages. The show is on the road. If you've been wanting to run away with the circus, hurry. Here is a safe railroad crossing. See the warning signal flashing? All tracks clear for the mail train, New Haven Streamliner. This trestle up in the mountain division is so well built, it will support a full grown adult. A 350 engine, drawing power from overhead wires. Fun and perfection are the twin objectives of the men who build their own rolling stock on this model railroader's dream come true. A steam locomotive on the mountain line. Not all model railroads equal this one, but this club's devotion to hobby is equaled wherever men run model trains. All over the world, in shops, in store windows, or in the cellar of the house, running them or just watching, the little trains that run on time hold never-ending fascination for millions of model railroaders.